director Jennifer Baumgartner came to SFC to speak about her film, It Was Rape. Jennifer says that one way to stop rape is to treat women as people instead of treating them like objects. I can't do something to you if I think you're a human being who's just as valuable as I am. I can only do something to you if I can scapegoat you, make you into someone who deserves it somehow, some less than me, less human than me. So yes, I think dehumanization is a big factor. I think the way object, object, sexual objectification works into that is, um, you know, evolving. It was rape proves that rape has a significant impact on the victims as well as their families. One of the women featured in the film is Jennifer's sister. Simultaneously, yes, I did want my sister to tap into the power of her experience, not just the humiliation of it. And in a lot of ways, I think that did happen. And, you know, it's something we're, we were able to experience kind of together, like she was generous with her story with me in a public way, which is, requires a lot of trust. And I hope I didn't betray that trust. And then we were able to sort of feel aligned in this way that we had been polarized as kids because I didn't want to be like her. Through creating this film, Jennifer has been able to empower not only herself and her sister, but thousands of other women and families affected by rape. I mostly know young women who have had this similar story is so, I think is more, is, is the most detrimental part of the story, is the most damaging. The process of getting the stories for this film was um, emotionally difficult, but very easy. The reality is sexual assault is so common. I didn't have to do much to get the stories. Jennifer's previous works consist of the film I Had an Abortion, a book she co-authored, Manifesta, Young Women, Feminism in the Future, a book of essays, as well as several other pieces of work. I think that if everybody had to see the film, it would change everybody slightly, <laughs> you know, to, to a little bit or a lot, you know, depending on the person. This is Van Brewer reporting for SFC TV.